I cut my teeth in a city in Newburgh. Uh, my first job out of college was working as the uh, assistant to the city manager, Harry Poor. And I remember those days. A lot of the officers are still on. Some of them are new. And uh, I remember the time we had over 100 police officers on the job. And I think it's, it's roughly around 75 or so now. And uh, I think that's the wrong direction that the city needs to be. We need to have more police officers here. That being said, uh, we have a lot of things that we need to do for the city of Newburgh. And I'm going to talk about five of my initiatives, and there's going to be more. Uh, because uh, it's going to take cooperation from not only the city of Newburgh, but all communities in the county could use some uh, help. So here's a couple of them. Number one is the communication amongst law enforcement. Behind me you see the chiefs of police. You also have officers uh, from around the county in the Hudson Valley that are not only in this audience here, but have also backed me. Every law enforcement group that we need to, to fight crime is behind my candidacy and my running mate, Dave Hubler. Under the jurisdiction of the county attorney's office is uh, juvenile justice. And what I want to do is make sure that each one of our county attorneys that are working on juvenile justice is properly trained to really take the fight into the, into the, into the hands of what's going on in some of the cities here. Some of the departments don't have the resources they need. And I know we've heard the blue and gray teams. We've heard about the blue and black teams going back to the uniforms of the different agencies. We need to have a strong concerted effort of what we're going to do to help these cities. The last couple months I've been training, watching the training of the Orange County Sheriff Special Operations Group. The, sh the uh, state police also have their own version of it. We need to start utilizing them more. They are trained. They are here to back up any of the departments that need help. Put qualified officers in the, in the uh, county uh, school safety program. This is something that happened after the Newtown um, tragedy. The county put some money aside. The problem with the money and who controls it is nobody from the Chiefs Association was on there. Nobody from the Sheriff's Office was on there. So what I'm saying to you is when you develop a plan to develop sa school safety in the schools, you want to have the people that are responding. These officers are the first ones going to be on the scene and their departments. The Sheriff's Office are going to be the first ones on the scenes. The, sh the state police that are patrolling in our areas are going to be the first ones responding. The people that were put on that SAGE committee were people that were retired and really not on the front lines. Boy, the New York City, Bill Bratton's broken windows policy. The city of Newburgh has an aggressive policy right now they're putting together. Many communities are doing this all over the Hudson Valley and all over the country. Basically combining the building inspector and code violations, quality of life crime uh, violations in tandem with the police departments. But a lot of these cities and villages and towns don't have the resources to help do that, to make that a, a possibility a reality. So what I want to do is I want to focus some of the members of the Orange County um, Attorney's Office to start helping the cities or towns that can't fill that gap. Opening communication with our chiefs of police as well as our PBAs so that the chiefs have a line of communication to the district attorney's office and the county, and the county attorney's office and the county executive as well as the PBAs having that same line of communication is a welcome step forward in the law enforcement community in general and it's something that really has not taken place in this county. Steve Newhouse, his visions uh, bring our quality of life to our family. We have issues down in the city that we deal with but we like our families to be safe and Steve Newhouse's ideas are great and that's what we recommend and also more importantly is my fellow officers. Even though I work in New York City, these guys take, take care of our families up here. And we need to support them, and that's what I want to show, so solidarity between all of us. And uh, we hope for the future that our families are safe and our quality of life in our community here is sustained. You know, we need plans um, from the next county executive, you know, Steve Newhouse, and we also uh, need to work in cooperation with our next district attorney, Dave Hoovler. And, uh, uh, you know, come January 1st, 2014, I'm here to work with both of them. I came here from Worcester County about 10 years ago. And, uh, we've been buying properties uh, as much as we can. And uh, the biggest problem with the city is the, the issues that they're trying to tackle. The crime, the corruption, the, poly the prostitution, and the drugs, and the gangs. And uh, we believe that with more cops in the street, they can solve some of these problems once and for all. You have, I think, for the first time in a long time, all the needed parties in here to get the job done. Uh, we're here to help the city of Newburgh. They said they're going to hire, I think, two more cops. I think they need 25 cops today, at least. But uh, we're here to help any way we can. 
And that's not just, this is not just the city of Newburgh, it's all over Orange County.